Hi, I'm Kenneth Opal, and this is my latest book, Ghost Light. I've always loved ghost stories, haunted lighthouses, and this book was inspired by one very close to me, the Gibraltar Point Lighthouse on the Toronto Island. It's a beautiful lighthouse, a couple hundred years old, one of the oldest lighthouses in Canada, and it comes with its very own ghost story. I went a little farther and imagined a secret order of lighthouse keepers who over the millennia have not only been keeping sailors safe at sea, but with the power of their beacon have been protecting us from the wakeful and the wicked dead. The power of the light reveals and can melt evil ghosts. So while we've been slumbering in our beds, the lighthouse keepers have been busy scanning the seas and the harbors and the cities making sure that no army of the wakeful and the wicked dead comes ashore. The order is long gone. Ghost Light takes place in present day Toronto. Our heroes are four teenagers, Gabe, who's giving the ghost tour for a summer job on the island, Yuri, who works rise at the amusement center, Callie, who's a ghost blogger with a special interest in the lighthouse, and Rebecca Strand. And I should mention that Rebecca Strand is actually a ghost. She's actually the daughter of one of the lighthouse keepers who was murdered mysteriously over a hundred years ago. And these four teens are on a quest, a uh, treasure hunt really, to find a very special amber lens that when you put it in front of the lighthouse beacon, amplifies the power of the lamp. So it can not only reveal ghosts, but destroy the most wicked and powerful ghosts. And this amber lens is called the ghost light. So my teens are on a supernatural treasure hunt across the city, find this lens, because it's very important that they have this lens to destroy a ghost called Nicholas Viker, who has just woken up after a long slumber on the lake bottom, and he has plans. He plans to raise an army of the wakeful and wicked dead to overwhelm the city and threaten our heroes' lives and their loved ones as well. Lots of ghosts in this book, lots of haunted houses in Toronto, um, and a climax on top of the CN Tower as my teens are duking it out with a very powerful King Kong-sized ghost. Um, I had a lot of fun writing this book. I hope you have a lot of fun reading it. It's out now in paperback.